sorry, guys. <laughs> if you dream of all the life, then I uh, just cut it out. <laughs> this is our life. Just accept it and continue. Okay, huh? Yes, sir. Mm. Of course, sometimes you're fed up and tired, and just go take a nap. Okay? Yes, Or go out, do exercise. Every day you should exercise to make the blood flow better, so you can think better, you can work better. Okay, huh? Yes. Not just the how to say the pull up. Stick that I have made bills for you? No, not just that. Okay. Yes. Exercise the whole body, or walk fast, or something. Okay. Yes. Uh, push up. Uh, push up is easy and lazy way. Or do the jumping rope, whatever. Okay, huh? Okay. So the whole body. Okay, huh? Yes. yes no, not just the bicep. Not just that. Okay, huh? Okay. Yeah. Yes, Master. Hmm. Yeah, it's funny actually because I saw. <laughs> Oh, when I was in Miami, you know, I saw many of these, uh, your brother and sister, or half brother, half sister, or just a brother, but it's a sister, yeah? They <laughs> build up their body, upper level, very big, strong, yeah? Yes. And the leg is, sti and from the waist down, very skinny. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah, funny, you know? Yes, yeah. Yeah, but I think they cannot build up much more the legs, right? No, huh? they can tighten the muscle, but they cannot build up much more, right? It doesn't bulk out, right? No, huh? A little bit. But they, they work on the upper body. They they think that it looks better. Yeah, it does look better, but when the guy, he wears so tight, tight jeans, <laughs> and, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't observe people that much. I was in Miami once, you know, in one of the islands. And uh, I go hairdressing sometime, you know? Or I bring my dog for, for, for hair, hair blowing. Uh, hair puffing, <laughs> washing, <laughs> and I saw them like that because the Miami there is a heaven for 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 your brother sister who are not <laughs> the brother but who are the sister and the sister who are not the sister but the brother you know what I'm saying yeah yes, yes. is a heaven for that and you see outside uh, on the street people are very uh, accepting of that you know the man and man hold hand kissing on the street no no problem yes. yeah etc or vice versa yeah. Mm. So I, I, I'm surprised if people even married or get children in Miami. I don't know who is who. <laughs> if you want to find a boyfriend or girlfriend there, it's kind of difficult. <laughs> it's their city. <laughs> it's, it's their country. Uh, I love them. They are very, very sweet people. They are very sentimental. They're more sensitive than normal, uh, normal man or normal woman, yeah? More sensitive. But they are very sweet, mostly very artistic. Yeah, that's why they do like artistic work or hairdressing or makeup artists, yeah? Yes. Or designing clothes, they are good at that. Yes. That they somehow have this artistic talent in them, yeah? Yes. Yeah. So you see, in the world, if you don't have something, you have something else, yeah? <laughs> so not to worry. I don't know what we have here, but we have food, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and you have the opportunity to work for God and for the world, yeah? Yes, yes. Master. That is excellent. That is incredible. Okay? Incredible. Think about it. How many people can do this? You see? Yes. No, no. Not too many. Okay, huh? The hormone, the world, the family, the habit, uh, just pulling them back. You see, so many also left, yeah? You see that? Yes. Uh, don't blame them. Maybe they are not strong enough, okay, to resist all this temptation. It's too strong for them, yeah? Too powerful. So you guys are tough guys, I guess, huh? <laughs> <laughs> tough guys. <laughs> Whoever left over here, despite all the tests and uh, tough guys. Congrats. Hmm? Thank you, Master. Yeah. Well, what did you ask then? Why did I say such thing? Uh, About how we increase our love within us. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, we 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 cannot uh, do it fast enough for this world. You see what I'm saying? Because interacting with other people. You also create new karma, yeah? And new karma also dragging you, adding more trouble, yeah? To your already trouble uh, existence. Everyone live here have trouble and uh, they are trying hard to, to survive. Very difficult to, 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 to make more love, to increase love and to increase more merit, yeah? Yes. Very difficult. And it's not enough. I have said difficult. But you can try. Every time you, you do something, you have to think about the other party, the opposite person, you know, the one that you 
are going to do something for. Even the animals, whether or not you would like to be done to yourself that way. Just imagine it was you, whomever you doing something to. Just imagine it's you, or imagine even you're not doing anything directly but indirectly, like eating meat, so that all the animals in the factory had to suffer so much, suffer in anguish, sorrow, without being able to utter any cry for help. Imagine if it's you, then you know what to do. Imagine it's you, then you would try to stop it in your part to lessen the suffering of other beings. That's how you may be able to develop some more love and merit for your heavenward journey. That's the only luggage you can take with you no matter how rich you are, no matter how poor you are, you can also take this treasure with you, your own merit and loving kindness to be accepted in heaven or even to be reborn in a better human position, situation, better life than this life. The love, I mean, is a compassion one the universal love, the unconditional love. I don't mean the love just because you like me, I like you, huh? or because you do good things to me, so I love you, or because you're my wife, my husband, I love you. No, not that kind, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Not even the love for the children or parents, no. Okay, so um, what to do, huh? Yeah, the Master has to help out, but not, uh, not a lot, okay? Cannot. Hmm. Some lubricate in their life or help him to turn a big uh, uh, trouble into small, yeah? Yes. Or small into zero, uh, or help solving, okay, the dire need situation. And uh, to increase it, of course, you meditate, okay, huh? Yes, yes. you yes. must. For you guys, in-house staff, you must meditate more, okay, huh? No, no matter what, just drop it. When you're working, I know it's difficult to drop, but you have to. I, I know, you guys are doing good, okay? Yes. Yeah. Better now than before, yeah. And even if you say you have work to do, but you drop it for one hour, it doesn't, doesn't hurt. Got that? Yes. Unless it hurts, then you have to. Then you have to meditate afterward to make up for it. You got that? Yes. And uh, to develop love is, is more difficult, but uh, you try. Maybe you don't have time to contemplate on all this love. But even when you do your show and you see the animals suffer and you feel pain in your heart, you know, you feel uh, empathy for them, that is developing love, okay, huh? Yes, yes, yes. But even then, it's not enough to cover so many things that you have to undergo in this world and your karma to boot. Hmm? Yes, yes. Okay. So it, it's, it's just trying your best to, to be more loving and kind wherever you can, whenever you can, that's all. Yes, yes. And the master power always helping, okay? Yeah. Because uh, we know all of humans are helpless here, okay? That's why they, they love humans. They don't mind to sacrifice, don't mind anything, just to do it, okay? Yeah. Uh, is that answer your question? Yes, Master. Good. Thank you. Good. Uh, please continue. Master, if just one nation declares vegan law, could that set off possibly a domino effect such that eventually all other nations might follow suit? Possible, of course. It has to start somewhere, okay? It has to start somewhere. Hmm? It could be, who knows? We hope so. Yes, I hope so too. We are praying. Hmm? Okay. Human habits are hard to change, but they are changing, huh? Yes, yes. yes. Changing, getting better, yes. The government should just emphasize it, just encourage people to do it. But the problem is the government, they don't do it themselves are very small numbers of the government uh, worker who did that. You see what I'm saying? Yes. And then they don't say nothing much. They too shy. Yeah. Yes. Uh, they worried to be, how say, ridiculed, or unpopular, whatever they think. Huh? Yes, yes. If I were the government president anywhere, I would risk everything to tell my citizens, "Stop it! From now on, we don't eat meat anymore. Yes. Finito. Yes. Very yes. simple. Yes. Yeah. Because, because, because. Yeah? Yes. Of course, people might go to the, how you say, the streets, 
protest against me, yeah. But uh, that's the thing you should expect, you know. Mm. Even if you don't do vegan law, they uh, go protest against you anyway. In every country it's like that. Maybe half will support you, half will not. Mm? Yes. So if you risk yourself to be a politician, a president, then you should do it, yeah? Yes. But I don't know if any such a courageous president exists in the world. Maybe, maybe in the future. Let's hope so. Pray so. Amen. <laughs> Um, every time one enlightened master comes to the earth, they, their effect, the presence of their being here is lasts for a long time. A master has been with us and given us the blessing of the physical presence and the teaching for mm. all these 30, more than 30 years. And so master for, for us and, and the future generations, for how many, many generations will master's effect will have? Uh, in the future. Not always master do this, master have to do that. Not always trying to take things from the master. Yes. That's kind of attitude. It's time that people get up, do their stuff, okay? Yes, master. Or the master teach the same. Help yourself, then God will help you. Huh? Be good, be benevolent, be compassionate. Then all that will come to you, okay? Yes. How many master came and humans killed them all already? What to expect anymore, huh? I'm lucky to be alive. You are lucky to still have me. I could have died many times already. What more you want me to do? All the master have come and gone from this planet and have left a lot of noble teaching. The humans should have adhered to them, to this noble teaching. But instead, we have done the opposite, even killed numerous of masters when they have done nothing wrong at all, whatsoever. And instead of being benevolent and kind towards all beings, what did we do? From the sky high to the ocean deep and in between, the humans have been terrorizing and murdering without reason, at random, countless of beings, of course, including humans and animals, and saintly beings, and still are doing it. We go to the church, but we don't obey the teaching of the masters. We go to the temple, but we don't listen to the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Yes. We continue to terrorize each other and all other weaker beings. And you expect this world to continue this way? Do you expect that the master power would continue to bless them so that they can continue this wicked, barbarous way of life? No. Is that the answer you expect? My answer is no, period. I've done. I've been doing and still am doing all I can already. There's no more I can do. I work day and night until exhaustion. Often forego sleep, food. You don't even know what else I do. Humans have to change. I kept telling you this, just like people blame the leaders for not uh, doing enough for COVID-19. Yes, they do what they can only. The karma they cannot erase for you. Every citizen in this world has a duty to protect themselves. Nowadays they can know many things from internet, know all the information. They have to decide how to protect their own lives or and listen to wise expert advice. But some do the opposite. Some even say, I don't care, I don't wear a mask, I don't do any protection. If I die, I die. It's not about you who die or not die. It's about you're infecting other people. Yes. If you don't protect yourself, you compromise other people's protection, health, happiness, life and death. So everyone has a duty to take care of themselves. Yes. 
and do the good things according to the teaching of all the masters. If not, don't expect any more leniency. It has been hundreds, millions of years already. People must change to a benevolent way of life. Then they can expect benevolence in return. Otherwise, as you sow, so shall you reap. That never fails. Don't always expect much.